When you lose control of your own mind, you're in a bad place. I know it affects so many people in so many different ways, and it's a silent killer. It's almost like carbon monoxide poisoning. You can't smell it, you can't taste it, you can't feel it, but you die. So many people take their lives on a daily basis through mental health problems, and others look at them and say he was a weak person or she was a weak person. Or not weak. You just need help. Why did that hit you? You were the champion of the world. You were the baddest man. It wasn't after the fight. I've been suffering with it my whole life. Have you ever been left behind somewhere when everyone else is going somewhere and you're left? That's how I feel on a regular basis and I didn't know what it was. When you fell into that depression, how dark was it? It was terrible. I was thinking about suicide every day. I put on 147 pounds. I was taking drugs on a daily basis. I was drinking on a daily basis. I was gone. I was making everybody's life a misery. Everybody was close to me and was pushing away. You've got a man who's got three kids at that time who wants to die on a daily basis. It's not a good place, is it, to be in? And I was in my car, and I got the car up to 190 miles an hour. I was heading towards that bridge. I didn't care about nothing, I just wanted to die so bad. I give up on life. And just as I was heading towards that bridge at 119, I heard a voice say, no, don't do this, Tyson. Think about your kids. Think about your family and your little boys and girls growing up with no father. Two and a half year later, I decided to make a comeback. It was mission impossible, to be honest with you, at first. Everybody thought he was finished. I don't believe I would have been here today if I didn't come back training. I definitely wouldn't have made it. You didn't see me. No, no one saw me. None of the cameras saw what was going on. But I saw what was going on. We couldn't see from the angle whether your eyes were open or closed. Were you out? Yeah. For a few seconds. And then what went through your mind? The same thing that goes through 90% of fighters' minds when they're down. It's what we're taught from kids. When you get put down, you get back up. I think it's over. Is he going to get up? Can he get up? Can he get up? He does! Oh my goodness! Somehow Fury has managed to get up! Well, that's mainly the most of the reasons I'm back. It's to show people who's living in darkness that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. Everybody out there who has the same problems I've been suffering with, I did that for you guys. It won't be a grey day every day. I used to wake up and think, why have I woke up? Why did I not die in sleep last night? And life is about not having the smooth road every, every single day. It's about the hurdles we have to overcome to find who we really are in life. And if I can come back from where I come from, then you can do it too. Every day for two years was very grey and dark for me. But it will come back grey again. You will have sunshine days again.